Hello everybody and welcome to BarkerDoor.com. Today I'm going to show you a little bit more about how to place an order and really just how to get started on our website. A lot of customers have asked me about ordering cabinet doors and they always say, well, where do I get started? I don't, I don't really know what I'm doing here. I've never done woodworking and I'm here to tell you it doesn't really matter uh, if you've done woodworking in the past. Calculating your door sizes are very easy. Uh, it's very simple. Uh, so let's get started. Okay, so basically what you're going to do is you're going to come to BarkerDoor.com. Uh, That's our homepage. Now, obviously, uh, this is our homepage as of uh, uh, April 2012, so uh, this stuff might have changed, um, but it, ideally it'll follow the uh, same method that I'm going to show you right now. So let's get started. Uh, so you got your homepage here. You're going to come onto this page. Uh, now, there's multiple different ways of doing this. Now, you can go to our How-To section. It's right there. Look on our how to section, you're going to see a bunch of different things you can do. This basically shows you exactly how to do lots of stuff here. Uh, you can really read through, get a quote, uh, and that's kind of where we're going to start today. And there's basically a lot of text uh, here that's going to show you, you know, how to do it. You want to look at your door styles, uh, your drawer fronts, stuff like that. But I'm going to give you a simplified version. It's pretty easy. Now make sure you do read through this though, um, if you have time, and uh, otherwise I'll get you started right now. Let's go over here and we're going to go right to the hinges section. Okay. And we're going to click on hinges. Now you're going to see that we have a whole bunch of different styles of hinges. We've tried to simplify and make this very simple for most people. Okay. Now most people are going to be ordering the standard hinge. That's this guy right here. Now the standard hinge we sell 90% of our doors go out with standardized hinges on it. That's a half inch overlay. Okay. It's a really good, it's an excellent hinge. Lots of adjustment, uh, as you can see. Let's open this one up. And lots of adjustment. It's easy to install uh, and it's easy to put on. Now we do, if you scroll down here after you've clicked on that, that piece, you're going to see some different measuring tutorials and videos and stuff like that that uh, uh, are going to really help you get your project dialed in. As you notice here, uh, you basically just take the opening of your cabinet and after you've read through the tutorials and watched our you know, measuring video, uh, you'll want to measure the opening, so measure the width. And for example, on this hinge, you just measure the width and you'd add a half inch to the left, get the door size, the door's kind of shaded out here, and a half inch on the right. So you, let's say this opening right here was 10 inches wide. You would order an 11 inch wide door for this opening. It's pretty simple. The height is the same as the, as the width. So you take the opening height from here down to the bottom of the cabinet, which is not shown. You add a half of an inch to the top and a half of an inch to the bottom. And that's it. You know, that's your size of your door. So let's say the opening height was 20. We'd order a door that's 21 inches tall. So we got a door 11 inches wide and, and 21 inches tall. It's that simple. That's all you got to do. Okay, so basically what we've done now is we've figured out what hinge we need. Uh, and as for this example, I'm just going to stick to this one hinge because that's what most people are going to be using. Um, so if you're going to be ordering doors, let's say we're going to order only one door from our website. Uh, we don't have minimum quantities, so you can order one door. It's no problem with us. Uh, you need to order two hinges, obviously. You can't hinge a door with just one hinge, and that would be, a, you know, be insane. So <laughs> uh, anyway, so it's like it says right here. Make sure you order uh, one hinge. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, two hinges per door. Uh, anyway, that's pretty simple. So if you want to order some hinges, let's just say we're going to order five doors today. They're all going to be the same size. Now, obviously, we have five doors, two hinges on each door. So what is that? That's 10. So we need 10 hinges. Put quantity of 10 in there. And again, here, there's some more technical specs down here in these pictures. And again, there's another installation note, uh, another video that I did uh, previously. That'll show you how to install that hinge uh, first person. We're not going to get into that today in this video. So quantity of 10, add to the shopping cart. Okay, wait for it pops up right there. There's your shopping cart. All ready to go. Let's just pull it off to the side right there. We'll use that later. So we got our 10 hinges in that shopping cart. We know exactly how we're going to measure for them. And we even know how we can install them by looking at this video. All right, so now we know which hinges we're going to do. Let's go order some doors. Let's click on wood cabinet doors. And you can do MBF cabinet doors. They're done the same. Uh, I'd recommend uh, in this case. We're just going to go with wood cabinet doors. And we're going to use our most popular door today. And that's going to be the shaker door. This guy right here. It's a bestseller. All right, so we're going to click on that door. Uh, again, uh, just keep in mind, click on whichever door style you are interested in. So I'm going to click on shaker because that's the most popular. You can see five different types of doors pop up. Now we have lots of different types of doors that you can choose from. We have regular doors with the inset panel in it. We have a shaker glass door. We have shaker drawer fronts with an inset panel, uh, slab drawer fronts, and slab doors. So ideally, if your drawer fronts and you know your doors, you can choose from any of these. Uh, most people are going to be using this door right here. Uh, for a drawer front, it's pretty much the same thing. The price is even the same, as you see on this guy right here. Uh, you know, you just basically order the drawer front to, you know, measure it exactly the same as you'd measure your cabinet doors, you know, half inch overlay on each side, like we talked about just a minute ago. 
and you would basically attach the drawer box to the back side of this drawer front and there you go but today we're gonna be talking about doors so let's click on this one right here we're gonna click all right so now we're into the shaker cabinet door profile so basically it's real simple if you want to get a better look at this guy you can do this and you can really see you know kind of zoom in and really see some more details here here's a real in-depth view of our shaker door it's a real nice door real uh, simple clean uh, very popular great door okay so we we'll gonna close that window let's go down through here most people have questions about all these different options don't let it uh, overwhelm you uh, we offer a lot of customizations but we try to keep it simple so that you don't get too confused and uh, you know decide oh it's just not I can't do it uh, there's a lot of companies out there that want to get your business and they charge a lot of money for measuring and it's not that hard like we saw earlier it's only an inch more than the width and an inch more than the height and uh, a lot of companies want to charge you a lot of money to do that calculation so you can do it yourself don't be afraid all right so what we're gonna do is uh, let's just say we had that that same that same opening uh, before uh, we're gonna order uh, what do we say we had 10 hinges in our cart if you want to see how many what's in your shopping cart just just roll your mouse over this and your, your shopping cart is gonna pull up so we got 10 hinges in our shopping cart right now so we're ordering five doors Let's put a quantity of five doors in there. And at that last uh, uh, picture that I showed you when we looked at measuring, uh, we looked at the width, of, uh, the width of the opening, the opening, not the actual door, but the opening was 10 and the height of the opening was 20. Okay. Now here we need to actually enter the actual width and height of the door. Okay. The width is from the left side to the right side and the height is from the bottom to the top. Pretty simple. So we had a width of an opening was 10, so we're just going to put 11. Obviously, we already calculated that. Height was 20, uh, the, inch, the opening was 20, so we're going to order a 21-inch tall door. All right, so basically down here, this is the one that most people get confused about, and that is going to be our size verification, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to do this, uh, just read through it verbatim, okay? Uh, maximum width for inset panel doors, before we get into that, maximum width has got to be 24, so don't put like 28 here. It's not going to work, okay? We, we, we can't make doors that wide. They tend to warp and bow. Um, anyway, we only make up doors up to 24 inches, and that's right, I shouldn't have changed that. So let's go back to 11. Uh, now we're going to get back into it. Size verification is basically a way that we can judge how much material is going to be used so that we can upcharge the door to amount, you know, get the correct amount, uh, you know, for paying for the materials as well as the weight for shipping. So a lot of different factors are factored in here. Uh, it'll help you out a lot. Okay. Uh, the door height is between, in this case, it's 21, so it's between 16 and 30. Okay, so we're going to select that option. It's no problem. Even a little sample picture is going to pop up here for you. So that's pretty easy. It's just showing you what a door like that is going to look like. Now, just say, for example, let's just say over here we did a 68-inch tall door. And you go down to the size verification and you put this one in here. We're just trying to show you you're going to get a three-panel door. Now, obviously, that's going to be a lot more panels, but these cross rails here, these lock rails is what we call them, are going to hold that door together so it doesn't warp and bow. Um, and definitely want to stay away from any door manufacturer that tries to make a single door uh, panel that's that tall it's just it's it's not good you could literally pull this to the left and right and you could actually probably pull the door apart with your bare hands I mean, it's pretty easy these lock rails are all built in uh, three-quarter inch thick and you could take this thing and probably run over it with a car and you're not gonna have any problems so all right so what do we got we had 21 there uh, let's go back here and there we go moving on drilling the hinge cup now we do have hinges in our shopping cart okay we have 10 of them now these are European concealed hinges. They're going to require a hinge cup be drilled on the back side of the door. Right now it says none. That's just our default. Our standard is a three and a half inch on top, from the top and from the bottom. Let's click that and we'll see what it looks like. Let's take a look at a bigger picture here. All right. So what we have here is uh, it's a sample picture, picture showing uh, you know how the hinges are drilled. Uh, all of this is standard. Most of the stuff you're not going to have to worry about. We do have this information available just in case you know you get somebody that's very technologically in or technically inclined, and they want to make sure that they get exactly what they're ordering. So uh, anyway, this is exactly how we drill it: three and a half from the uh, the side to the center of the hinge cup. That works with all of the hinges that we sell on our website. Okay, this is very specific that we make these things because we've sold thousands and thousands of these hinges. And uh, they work perfectly with our doors, so we are very strict on how we uh, drill them. The biggest thing you're going to have to worry about is going to be how far from the top and bottom you're going to be drilling. So basically from the bottom of the door to here, our standard is 3.5. From the top to the center of the hinge cup, 3.5 inches on center. And I'd recommend sticking with our standard. It's less expensive, and it keeps our production lines moving. You can order uh, different dimensions there, 4 inches, 5 inches, 6 inches, 12 inches, whatever you want. I mean, you can do anything. Uh, let's close that window here. Uh, and all of these are going to work with all of our hinge cups, as shown right there. 
we all work with all of our hinges and the hinge cups will all work together. But you do need to get these hinge cups drilled on the back side of the door for our hinges to work with them. So don't forget that. Okay? Hinge side does not matter. And a lot of people ask me, well, why, why wouldn't it matter? You know, it's you got to know which side is being hinged on. Let's take a look back at our regular door. These are all, all the doors we make are rectangular. We don't need, we don't do any arched top rails. We don't do any arched bottom rails. And the idea behind doing a, a rectangular door is the fact that you can rotate this door 180 degrees. Okay. And by doing that, let's say we drilled the hinge cups, hinge cups here and here. And I'll rotate that door 180 degrees, and now you got the hinge cups on the left or the right side. So it really doesn't matter which side we drill it on. So the idea is you can flip the door or rotate it, and you have a left or a right side hinge. All right, moving on. Uh, wood type. Very simple to use. Uh, our wood type is real simple. Uh, we have lots of different wood types to choose from. Paint grade uh, is one of the most popular because a lot of people like to paint their cabinets. It is the least expensive, not because it's the worst. It's just the least expensive because it is uh, less. It comes in in sheets, so we're able to cut it straight from that without having to glue it up. So that's our paint grade with an MDF panel. You're going to notice a picture here pops up that shows you exactly what it is. Now, you, with an MDF panel, you got to paint it. You just have to. Uh, any of our paint grade materials, for that matter, you have to paint. So these first two options that are the least expensive have to be painted. Okay, so like Pacific Maple, we use solid wood, but it's going to have some different grain variations and stuff that we don't want to, you know, have somebody coming back to us saying, oh, I tried to stain this thing, it doesn't look right. Well, it doesn't look right because it's, you know, it's just solid wood and we didn't, you know, we glued it up accordingly so that it would work for painted applications. It's very easy. Paint grade MDF panel, one of the most popular, it's the least expensive. Uh, not because it's the worst, again, uh, it, comes, it, comes in, it comes in sheets, so we're able to cut these panels out a little bit quicker. Uh, the MDF is one of my personal favorites because it does not expand or contract. Let's take a look at a bigger picture here. Expanding and contraction on a five-piece door is great. A little side note here, uh, sorry to get off tra topic, but when, you, when these things expand, uh, sometimes you're going to see these joints kind of crack over a period of five to ten years. And the nice thing about MDF is it doesn't expand and contract like solid wood does. Um, now, you can use solid wood, it's just, you know, you might need to do a little touch-up or whatever needs to happen, um, you know, in there. For paint grade applications, I highly recommend using an MDF panel. I know that most people don't like MDF, um, and they tend to go with the Pacific Maple. It is a little bit of an upcharge. We do have it as an option, but it would make the panel, for Pacific Maple, would make the panel out of solid wood as well as the, the, the frame. And in this case, uh, it would be a, uh, I'm sorry, with inset panels, it's actually a, a plywood panel, so it would be similar to how this looks down here. Uh, so anyway, uh, not a big deal. Uh, really, either one you choose is going to be fine. I'm, I'm getting well, very technical here. So, uh, Other wood types we have to choose from. Alder, cherry, maple, red oak, naughty alder, beech, lots of different stuff. We even have exotics such as sapili, which is a form of mahogany. It's very nice. We have a lot of it in our showroom. Um, excellent material, very dark, uh, very nice, rich red color. Uh, we have walnut which is a great material as well. Uh, one of my personal favorites because it's real dark and it's real hard. Uh, anyway, so that's just kind of my, my two cents there. All right, so moving on. Finish options. All of our doors are currently unfinished. In the future, we might be changing this to do a clear finish, and that would only be available on doors from this to here. So basically from alder to white oak, we would not have clear finish available for paint grade. So if we do add that, do not order clear finish on a paint grade material. We'll have to cancel the order, obviously, because we can't do that. It just wouldn't look right. Uh, all right, moving on. Uh, frame widths. 2 and 5 eighths style and rail is our standard. Okay, uh, Real easy. Uh, 2 and 5 eighths. Let's take a look at a picture here. Here's kind of a real simple picture of a 2 and 5 eighths style and rail. Notice 2 and 5 eighths here and 2 and 5 eighths here. And basically what we're saying is the frame going around the door is 2 and 5 eighths long, or 2 and 5 eighths wide, sorry. And that's basically from the edge of the door to the interior edge of the frame here. So 2 and 5 eighths from this point to this point. And again, 2 and 5 eighths from the top to the bottom okay, uh, of that frame. And then the panel takes up the rest of the width, obviously. Uh, so it's pretty simple there. Now some people, the reason we have this option on here is some people prefer, they say, well, hey, I need a 3-inch style and rail because that's what's on my, my existing house. Or I want to make something really custom for my furniture in my living room or something like that. That's... That's fine. You know, you can order any of these things. There is a slight upcharge for different um, uh, width frames, and uh, it's all available. Though you know, we have lots of different options for that. You can even customize it and do you know anything you want. Uh, do a custom style and rail width. You know, lots of that stuff. And you just basically put in your order notes down here. Hey, I need it at you know eight inch wide style and rail. You know, whatever you need. And I misspelled that. Sorry. 
<laughs> so, all right, so anyway, we got all that good. Um, let's take this off, and we're going to do a real normal order here. Uh, two and five eight style and rail, walnut, premium select. Let's see, just for fun, let's do a cherry. I like cherry, it's a nice material. All right, so let's review this real quick. Five, 11, 21, so five, quantity of five, width of 11, height of 21. The high, so size verification is correct between 16 and 30, that's good. Uh, drill hinge cups is all on there, cherry, and blah, 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 blah. We're good to go. Okay, so we're going to add that to the shopping cart. Just click that button once. It pops up. We're good to go. So now we have five doors. We have ten hinges. We're good to go. We, we can check out. Now, the cool thing about our website is how easy you can add new doors. Okay, so let's just say we, we, we wanted to add a whole bunch more. We can delete these out of our shopping cart in a minute. Say we had a quantity of three. We have a width of 12 and one-eighth. You can put in either one divided by eight. You know, we, we, you can put any of this stuff in here. This is all computerized, so we can change any of this stuff. So notice I'm putting a, a, a fraction here, and down here I'm putting, you know, a decimal. E either way, it doesn't really matter to us, okay? Uh, so there we go. There's one door right there. Let's change the size verification. That's all dead on. Everything else stays exactly the same. We add that to the shopping cart, okay? Now we're moving. Okay, so let's change this. We have another door that we needed. Let's just say it was 16.75. Height is 27.75. There we go. Everything else is the same. And then let's just say, because we have a pantry door, and this is just hypothetical, of course. Sorry, I'm taking your time. 64.375. All right, 64.375. So that's right there. Everything else is the same. Probably want to put three hinge cups on that one. So what I did right there is I just changed from two hinge cups down to the next option, which is basically to do three hinge cups. Now, a little uh, bit of advice here. If you're going to do uh, three hinge cups, some people ask me, they say, hey, how tall does the door need to be to have three hinge cups? Any door over 42 inches, put three hinge cups. It's that simple. If it's over 42 inches tall, put three hinge cups. If it's under 42 inches tall, put two. You'll be fine. It's just our standard. Okay. Let's add those doors to the shopping cart. I might have already done that. Uh, no, I didn't. Okay. And we're good. Let's check out. So click check out, that button right there. Uh, I'm going to go back and kind of show you exactly what I did there again. Sorry about that. Nope. Oh. Okay. So. What I did was uh, I just clicked this checkout button right here. I don't want to move too fast for you. Or you can say continue shopping, which basically just hides this window. I'm going to click go to checkout. Now what we're going to do is we're going to review our order. Okay. Obviously, I can delete these by pushing this X button right here. But let's just say I, you know, I don't need to. Let's just, well, actually let's do that. Let's just delete these off real quick. Real simple. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to put in our. We're going to need to figure out how much shipping rates are going to be. Okay. We're in the United States, obviously. Uh, California, let's just say 90210. Everybody knows the show, Beverly Hills 90210. Not that I watch it or anything. But, all right, so let's just update this. Uh, all right, we got that. Home delivery, 2425 for five doors and 10 hinges. Pretty simple. All right, so now we got our, our quote. That's what it is. That's our firm price. Our website's always accurate. Uh, what we would do is uh, our total price is all set up there. You either proceed to check out or you can lo log in and check out. Most likely you need to proceed to check out if you haven't set up an account with us. And then from there it's really easy. You just put your information in here, you know, your billing information, your shipping information, uh, either your billing address or wherever you're going. Uh, down below you can put a password in and then that's going to allow you to save all your information and create an account. And this is a one page checkout. So this is, this is the cool thing about our website is it's all simplified. Uh, you put your password in here, you already know how much you're paying for shipping, you put your credit card information in, and you push place order. And I'm going to get it, yeah, there you go, I got an error there. So anyway, it's all 128-bit encryption. As you notice, uh, I, I can't really show you the uh, secure link right now, but uh, anyway, it's all extremely secure, and uh, you know, we, we sell thousands and thousands of orders every month. So. Um, anyway, uh, if you have any questions after this point, uh, once you put this in there, you'll get a confirmation page, and an email confirmation will be sent to you automatically. Uh, for further questions, though, feel free to give me a call uh, or just send us an email, and uh, we'd be happy to answer those for you. Um, also, check our, our forums website, which is barkerforums.com, and uh, that website will really have any questions anybody's ever asked us. You can just type it into the search um, and kind of get going from there. Again, my name is Chad Barker. I'm, with, I'm here with BarkerDoor.com as well as BarkerCabinets.com, so other website. And uh, hope you have a great day. Thank you very much for your time.